In this video, I wanted to use uh, HTML, uh, JavaScript, and SVG, scalar vector graphics, to just reproduce the shape of this so-called hat tile or Einstein that I had uh, heard about on the news. So I'm not going to do anything with it. I'm not going to try to tile the space or anything like that. I just wanted to draw it. So, so that's all we're doing here is drawing it. And this is the result of the I, page I made. So I'm going to sort of show you the code that sort of generated this uh, SVG. Okay. So uh, if you want this, uh, this file, it, you can find it at this URL. Okay. So basically the page is an empty SVG and then everything is drawn on that in that SVG using JavaScript. I have to uh, expand my namespace to bring uh, SVG into my into this like JavaScript namespace. I have declared a variable for the side, and that is the sort of the long side. So we basically have these uh, quadrilaterals. Um, this is 180, this is a 90, that's a 90, and this is a 60. And we uh, sort of tile a space in those quadrilaterals, which I'll show, and then pick out uh, some of them to form this hat shape. And so that was the side, that was the, the long side of of the quadrilateral. And because it was, uh, there are like 30s and 60s, those angles. Um, originally, I was working with cosine and tangent of uh, those. And then it was all just uh, square root of three in the end. So I just defined a variable equal to the square root of three, which pops up all over the place in this geometry because of the trigonometry. So I have uh, a nested loop over i and j, and then a third nested loop over angles. So let's sort of work our way out. OK, so let's start here. This is the points. So when you make a polygon in uh, SVG, th you have uh, however many points, uh, it has a property called points, and it will be x, y pairs. Um, so x, uh, sort of an x comma y, and then so it has a delimiter of a comma between the x and the y, and a space between x, y pairs, and, and then it's a polygon, so three or more uh, x, y pairs. And we're making, of course, those quadrilaterals, so we will have four pairs. I had um, my SVG overall was 800 by 800, so that's a little bit hard-coded here and there. So I made uh, X. So, so X and Y are sort of some point. It will be basically sort of these these quadrilaterals go around and sort of form a hexagon, and the x y is the sort of center of a hexagon in general, and then the sort of and then I sort of start at this center lattice, so so it's all designed around that. So x y is that sort of that pointy part, and then these are just the x y pairs. And again, those square roots of threes because of the 30s and the, and the 60s. And that created, so those are the points to create a shape. So here I am uh, creating, I don't think I need this. Let me save it. And... No, I do need that, sorry. Yes, we're back. Okay. Um, um, 
just a little bit out of order, probably. It makes a little more sense to make the polygon before I worry about rotating it. Um, so I'm going, these are the points to make one quadrilateral, but then I have a loop that loops around the angles from zero to 300 going up by 60s because the, the rotate, the, the transform rotate works in degrees. So I'm working, working with degrees here, so 60. Uh, so I, I'm creating a polygon. I am going to uh, rotate it by an angle about a point xy if i don't have the xy it will it will rotate it around zero but i want to rotate it about the point uh sort of centered in that hexagon i made them just because i stole this example from somebody um, and they worked with a lime and purple so i have lime and purple uh, fill and stroke and here are the points and then here's the transform which is the rotate and it's rotate of an angle, 060, 0, 60, 0, 60 uh, 120, et cetera, around whatever point I'm on. And then finally, uh, appending the polygon to the SVG that was empty to begin with. So this sort of 54 to 66 creates a hexagon like here. Then I just have loops, uh, two nested loops with uh, I and J sort of defining uh, different X's and Y's. And the, the position of the Y depends a little bit on where we are. So these, you know, I don't want to say it, this center column of hexagons. When I go over one, that uh, that next column of hexagons is uh, shifted vertically. So that's what this little I in here does. So I'm moving over a certain amount of X. I'm moving over uh, my, my Y varies, but the Y depends on the J and the I, I just have some, like if I'm sort of too far off my lattice, if I'm if my X is less than zero or greater than 800, it's the same for Y, then I'm just sort of skipping that iteration. So I'm not doing too much time wasting here. And so that basically created the lattice. So I have, again, the points. And that make one of the sort of quadrilaterals. I rotate it and create them and rotate them six times. That created the sort of hexagons. And then I have that in a nested loop with I's and J's. So that created this whole green lattice. And those are just the building blocks of this hat. So now I'm going to draw the hat. And this was a um, a much larger uh, polygon. And so I started, uh, I sort of went back to the center, 400, 400, and started sort of building up in my points. And again, again, because of all these 30s and 60s, your square root of three is moving up and down and all over the place. But these were the just sort of did the geometry figured out the points and sort of so i'm starting here and then just sort of mapping through this polygon um i have it in it has uh, 14 of my tile sides um but they talk about it the news is having 13 sides because this side over here which is two of my tile sides is a fall on a straight line. So that's in terms of polygons, that counts as one line. So that's why I originally had 14 points. And then I commented one out because I, you know, I wanted to 
correspond to what they had. I, one, I didn't need it, and two, I wanted to sort of, you know, have 13 points because they talked about it being a, you know, a 13 sided uh, figure. And then, so there's no great insight here, just lots of uh, adding, maybe just the code thing. This is a, a template literal. So with these tick marks and then the dollar sign curly bracket means I can put a variable in there. And this uh, notation is again, X comma Y is a point. And then, then you need this space uh, is very important for creating the multiple the multiple points though between the X and the Y are separated by a comma, but the uh, one point to the next point is space delimited. And so there's me creating that a great big set of points for the hat polygon. And then here is me, you know, dynamically adding the hat polygon. I gave it an opacity so that you could see the, the lattice behind. And there you have it. So just wanted to play with geometry and polygons and draw a picture and just the hat was in the news, so I wanted to learn a little bit about it. Um, and there you have it. Thanks for your attention.